I'm pretty sure I mentioned that our house is kind of like a zoo. We have lots of animals and things going around. But recently, just today, we have a new visitor right there. <laughs> it's not a spider. No. Just a visitor. You want to see what it is? Thing. No, and so he's friendly. It's it's a mosquito hawk. But he eats um, like mosquitoes. But we don't have mosquitoes. I know, but he doesn't know that. Well, then he's gonna starve. <laughs> we have to feed him. Costume update from this young lady right here. We got the green fabric, and now she's going to town. That is a nice color. There's a little bit of kangaroo fur on it. <laughs> That's a good money color. I like it. Does it look like money? No, but it will. Delivery. something cool. I thought this is like going to be my new PJs. Ooh. It's like, why did I get a dog food can with my PJs? <laughs> <laughs> that has to be my PJs. I don't know how we got mail twice in one day, but... I did see him come back, remember? I know. You forgot your PJs. Yeah, I want to cut a hole in them like I did my nephew's shirt. I opened the bag and cut a hole like right here <laughs> in his soccer shirt. Woo! Ooh, gee, and look at the color. What a surprise. PJs, new PJs. I had a hole in my knee that was like the width of the whole pair of pants. Wow, cute. Cute, oh. Like it. I can't wait for the night. truck project. Oh yeah. Wow. All right. All right, I got the front cover. That looks awesome. And it, let me tell you, it was not easy. I'm gonna put black inside here so you don't see that. That's the tricky part about putting fabric around something that's thick. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a, a thin piece of paper that you can just fold it over. Well, there's so many different corners yeah. and stuff, you know, just great job, looks fantastic. Oh my God.
how is the uh, the dollar symbol now? Oh, well, he's sleeping right now. Yeah. <laughs> Which I'm gonna be soon. It's only six o'clock. <laughs> It's raining now. It's raining outside. I got my head sock on. And just in case there's some scary looking creatures that show up, I'm ready for them. They gave me this hat when I went and saw the premiere. Not a good movie. Just movie just all right got a few things to to go over uh got a quite a number of things to go over uh first of all big thanks uh, to starbucks they gave me this this really cool travel mug and a pound of coffee anyway wheels and waves uh very successful i had a great time thanks to everybody who came out and uh thanks to starbucks for providing great coffee great service okay let's talk a little bit about the the toyota mirai which i'm driving uh, a lot of really interesting things about that car stuff it's about fifty seven thousand dollars as i mentioned and you can purchase it outright for that and you can get a, a seventy five hundred dollar credit and then a five thousand dollar credit and then you also get three three full years of free hydrogen that's pretty good or you can lease it you can lease it for like 350 bucks a month 2500 bucks down and it's a fun car it's an, it's an interesting car Technology, certainly the technology is rock solid. Uh, and that's actually pretty amazing. You, 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 it kind of blows my mind that I'm driving a, a hydrogen powered vehicle. That's, that's, you know, back when I was in school. I... <laughs> the, design, the design of the car, um, the interior, uh, the interior kind of looks a little bit like it was designed by a, a product designer more than a transportation guy, a car guy. But it's still cool. It's it's kind of it's functional. It's different. It doesn't kind of doesn't necessarily feel automotive. It almost feels a little bit like a um, an autonomous vehicle. And the exterior is kind of eclectic. It's kind of it's kind of an eccentric look. So you know if you're if you're hardcore into this kind of technology, then chances are this is going to be the car for you. It's got some interesting design language, some Toyota language that is both on the chart and way off the chart. I like that. That's that's just kind of cool. It's 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 a really interesting car. Is it worth 57 grand? I'm not sure it's worth 57 grand, but with the discounts, it's actually kind of basically 50. Then you get three full years of free hydrogen. Also throw in a rental car for like uh, seven days if you want to like drive to Vegas or do things that, that you can't do in this car. The infrastructure is not there for driving, you know, in towards the country, but there's not that many of these cars yet. And they're building now, which is really cool. All right, got, I got a couple of packages today. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, here. Okay, I got a couple of packages today. I also found this hat when we went hiking. Hawaiian, cool, huh? Huh. We're hiking that secret Nazi camp. Found this hat. This first one comes from my friend Dan Jones. It's his, his new book. Really cool. All right, Dan, how do you open this thing? Check it out. This book is called Carality. Now, I haven't read it, obviously, because it just showed up. It's very thick. A Tribute in New Orleans, a novel by J, D, J. Daniel Jones. Dan, what does the J stand for? On the back, it says $5 million just to bid on a Hitler car. Sounds like a steal to me. Huh. So basically, this is an automotive novel called Carality, a tribute in New Orleans. Um, you know, it's a story of a guy that uh, uh, that is, wants to sell his Porsche 911 and gets involved in a car auction in New Orleans. It's got some intrigue. Obviously, it's got a lot of intrigue. Looks cool, looks cool. Now, I, I, I mentioned this before, I don't normally read regular novels, and uh, I told Dan that I would show you guys this, and it looks really good. He's gonna be doing a signing at Autobooks in the coming weeks. See so if you wanna get a chance to meet him, uh, go to the Autobooks, Aerobooks website, and you should be able to soon, hopefully, uh, see a signing that he's gonna be doing there. You can get a chance to meet him, get a signed copy. But what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna do a giveaway with this. This is this is something that's pretty cool, and I think that one of you guys is gonna like it. Leave a comment in the comment section, let me know that you're interested, and I'll pick somebody at random. Uh, maybe I'll ask them a, a weird question, and then we'll go from there. Thank you, Dan, for sending this. Awesome. I wish I knew how to speed read, because then... Done! Awesome, Dan! Way to go! Got something else in the mail. I think I know what this is. This comes in once a month. Cartoons Magazine. At it again. A look at then and now. Check out that cover. Cool. 
like it. Really, really cool stuff. These guys are, are hitting home runs on these magazines. These are these are fantastic. Look at that, man. That's a lot of work right there. Check that out. Look at all that. It's a Trosley cover. Really cool. Really cool. Thank you guys for sending out uh, today's issue, this month's issue, and the cover is the centerfold too. See. Trucks. Check it out. Great stuff. All right, that's about it, guys. Kathy's wrapping up her job. It's actually being delivered tomorrow, or it's not, well, they're coming to pick it up tomorrow. And next weekend is the event, so Angelica Houston is gonna be wearing this big dollar sign thing. I'll show you guys what it looks like tomorrow. And then we got a whole passel of things that are coming up. Hold on. I don't even know what passel is a word, but we got so many things that are coming up between the hikes, the cars, some of the car shows, and a few special surprises. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. As always, uh, you know, we're here to, to do what we can to help you guys improve your lives through what you love. This is what we love. You know, I even got my own books. We're doing all kinds of cool stuff. As you may or may not know, we support a lot of different charities. The National Mill Dog Rescue, Hope for Paws, Four Ocean, and One Ocean Diving. So if you buy anything from us, you know, whether it's the kids' books or anything else, then a portion of those proceeds goes to those charities. So thank you very much for helping out all of you that had a chance to buy some things. And that's about it. Okay, so we'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, my brethren and sister and